Uh, I'm Michael Corpy. Um, I got my undergrad degree at what's now Liberty University. Then I went to grad school at the University of Iowa. I had uh, met Corey in graduate school at University of Iowa. So I'm Corey Carbonara, and uh, you heard a little bit about how Michael and I met. We met at the University of Iowa when we were in the graduate program together, both filmmakers. Mike did tap me to come to Baylor. I was excited to come here, fell in love with the campus from the very first uh, start of this. Gary Mandel was uh, essential, really, to um, a relationship that we would have, Mike and I, with him um, with regards to his expertise at Sony. And he stayed at Sony 36 years. I did not. I, I came running back to Baylor. I realized I shaved one day and I cut myself and my, my blood was green. I thought, well, that's a sign, right? <laughs> so the next thing you know, when he is about to retire, he has an idea for being able to have better color experience. People from Sony and from the Academy of Arts and Sciences, um, Motion Picture Academy, and uh, we did that and we asked them the same question Gary asked us. Here's, here's this thing, we think this will work. Tell us why we're wrong. Up until now, it's just been sharper pictures, more pixels packed in. So it was HDTV, then it's 4K, then it's 8K. We think better pixels, better pixels, better colors. That's going to be the future selling factor for them. Uh, if you're selling cosmetics in a department store, if you go with standard displays we use now, you're never going to match what the flesh tone is of the customer. We took red, green, and blue, and we added to it a, a lime green yellow, okay, an emerald, right, and then the cyan. So what that did was it expanded the amount of color, volume, and moved it from about 45% or half of what God intended us to see to near 90%, you know, almost double of that with just six color. We now can tell you that we have 65 published patents at this point. And we have uh, in the works about another 15 yeah. uh, that are patent pending. So, so here we are at our lab, and what we're doing is we're actually showing you what it's like to see projection of all six colors on the screen. So we have an emerald filter, we have a lime green filter, and we have a cyan filter. And those colors combined with the RGB equals the six. That's right, we were able to publish a wonderful piece that we, that we now have in a journal that talks about the um, awe and inspiration that happens when you see the difference between RGB and this. Really from the moment that I saw the comparison of those NASA images and saw Earth from space, I was like, I want to be a part of this. And, and it explained why you found more awe yeah. in those images, you know, that came from space. And those were all shot by astronauts. And they all lamented when they would come back and see the projection of the Earth back in RGB, how they had not seeing that same thing in space, it was so much more spectacular. So I'm Will Critchfield. Um, I'm a junior at Baylor. Um, I'm from New Jersey. I ended up at Baylor because it's kind of a family thing. Uh, I came in a uh, film major, um, but I didn't really have any direction that I wanted to go in necessarily or really any knowledge of what that actually meant for my freshman year. First semester was intro to MassCom with Professor Corpy. He gave a lecture on 6B color and everything that was going on and the research they were doing. And I went up to him after and I just said, hey, I know this software, this is the work that I've done before, I really want to be involved, I really want to just have some hand in it, I'll come vacuum your floors if you just let me sit in. Um, and then he told me to come in uh, for an interview on Monday and I came in and they just put me to work. Uh, I'm Ian Dunahoo, I'm a sophomore, uh, I'm a film and digital media and philosophy double major. What drew me to Baylor uh, was the production focus. Uh, almost every class you're producing something or practicing those skills to make something happen. I sat by Will and Will was telling me about how he had been involved for a couple of years and I was like, wow, that sounds really awesome. And his initiative to jump on there and get involved really inspired me to do the exact same thing. The way that I benefited from being a part of this is I just feel like I've gotten like a technical masterclass from 
people that like I would have dreamed of meeting. Through my first year, I had no, uh, I, it wasn't even on my radar that this type of thing was happening within the FDM department. I was thinking, oh, that's you know the physics people, that's the science people, they're all in the brick doing their stuff. And whenever Dr. C first talked about it, I was like, wow, that's incredible. Being R1, to me it seems is like really a culture. That's like my day-to-day -day experience. Like I get to work with people who are pushing and who are innovating and I get to see the different projects that are happening. If you want opportunity, like you can have opportunity. All these professors are so willing, they want you to come forward. So don't ever feel like, um, oh, well, that's really cool, but uh, you know, I'm just a freshman and I couldn't do that. Maybe I'll wait a few years. Just jump in right now. I would have loved my experience in undergraduate because I don't feel like I'm walking out of here with just a film degree. I feel like I'm walking out of here learning what it means to push the limits and to push the boundaries. Uh, and I am not sure that you can put a price tag on that experience or on that feeling.